Hey guys, it's me from Guns and Cars. You haven't heard much from me lately. I've been kind of uh, keeping a low profile, but I didn't have much to say at the time. I was listening to everyone else, but I do have some good news, especially, whoops, especially for those of you who live in Missouri. This is uh, an article on the 10th Amendment Center blog, and it says, Missouri proposes jail time for feds violating the Second Amendment. And it basically says, uh, I'll put a link down below if you want to read it, and I know that it's, it's too small to read here, but uh, it basically says that um, any official agent, any, any official agent or employee of the federal government who enforces or attempts to enforce any act, order, law, statute, rule, or regulation of the federal government upon a personal firearm, a firearm accessory, or ammunition that is owned or manufactured commercially or privately in the state of Missouri and that remains exclusively within the borders of the state of Missouri shall be guilty of a Class D felony. A uh, Class D felony in Missouri carries a prison sentence of up to four years. It goes on to say, while the number of uh, while the number of states, including Wyoming, South Carolina, Indiana, and others, are looking to go ahead, uh, are looking to go head to head with the feds on specific issues under the Second Amendment, the Missouri legislation is the strongest introduced anywhere in the country so far. So this, uh, this representative from Missouri, uh, Casey Guernsey, has 61 co-sponsors, and uh, it's called the Second Amendment Preservation Act, House Bill 170. I will put a link uh, down below to this particular site, and there is also a link there where you can go uh, to their Facebook page and to get your representatives addresses so anyway that's the news and that's all I have right now so I will just talk to you later until I speak with you again and even after that you stay safe